Hi, everybody. Brad Nessler here, and with me as always, Kirk Herbstreit and Lee Corso. The Mercury will stay low today in this game between the North Carolina Tar Heels and the Demon Deacons of Wake Forest. And here come the Demon Deacons. The Demon Deacon may be overmatched and could have an ugly game on their hands. Any thoughts, Kirk? North Carolina should win big, and chances are because of their passing game, they're going to be able to make some big plays downfield. We're looking at one of the best receivers in the nation, and that's why this team is so tough to beat. Kirk, I'm going to have to agree with you right here. North Carolina is going to do it. <laughs> well, Lee, we're about to find out if you're right. Let's join the captains and the referee at midfield. Both teams have sent their special teams out of the field, and we're ready for the opening kickoff. He kicks it. Smith takes it at the eight. So now we'll get to see the, the Tar Heel. Line up in the nickelback. Can't wrap him up. He breaks the second tackle. Over the middle. Oh, great catch. Mendoza with a takedown at the 40. The defense sets up in the nickel. And they make the stop at midfield. The Demon Deacon come out in the shotgun. He throws. Franz with the interception. Jones with the tackle at the 47-yard line. The defense was all over that pass, guys. That's because they were able to get pressure here, Brad. And when you toss it. Tar Heel come out in a bunch formation. Looking to throw. Surveys the field. And he got it. And they tackle him. Penalty marker down in the backfield. Might be a holding call. First of a foul, roughing the passer. The Tar Heel line up with three wide. Oh, man, did he take a hit. Culver drops to throw. Looking, he's under some heat. He gets sacked on the play. Good pressure there, guys. Yep, good pressure and a good blitz by the safety. He comes in literally on harder. North Carolina is looking to go up by three. The kick is up, and it's through the uprights. Not a bad kick. Red with three wide receivers. Steps up, looking. He's looking down the middle, and he's tackled right away. Otherwise, he'll make you pay. The offense lines up with three wide receivers. He looks to throw on first down. Red passes. He's into the open field at the 40. To the 20. To the 10. He's going to take it to the barn. Touchdown. The wide receiver flew down the field on that touchdown connection. Well, he has the speed. To... Culver with four wide receivers. Culver steps back to pass. And it's a true freshman. Knocked out of bounds at the Tar Heel. Line up with three receivers bunch. He's going right. And that's his receiver who's wide open. Culver on first down. Got hit as he threw. Watson bats it down. But hold on, we got a penalty on the play. Let's check it out. Holding on the offense. But Carolina comes out in the shotgun. Culver to the air on first down. He lets it fly. Finds his receiver. He's taken down. Three wide outs to the right side. Culver hasn't thrown a bad one this drive. Still perfect on the drive. Culver lines up in the shotgun. Option to the right. Simmons tackles him at the third. North Carolina sets up with four receivers. They'll run the option. Brought down at the 29. Defense says they've got it, and they do. And a costly fumble right there, guys. I love the option, but it is a little risky. This fumble. North Carolina lines up in a shotgun set. Culver set to go to the air. Spin move. Simmons with a takedown at the top. They'll work from the shotgun. Drops back to pass. Here's a quick throw. He ignores the footsteps and makes the catch. Deodorant for the experienced man. They're in the red zone again, but this time they should be thinking touchdown. The lineman had a big... Impossible to block with one guy. Culver drops back to pass. 
Throwing right into traffic, and it's picked off. And this could be a big return at the 40, across midfield, at the 40, at the 30, to the 20, to the 10, and he will score. That INT puts him in a position to make this a game. Yeah, they really needed that. That's a huge boost. Yeah. Did, did you just say Sal Cal? Yep. I dated one back in college. Man, could she cook. On the deuce, on the deuce. Cut. He tackles him for a loss. What? Back to pass. Looks. He throws left. What a pick. And the defense just picked up their second interception of the game. This defense has really been in sync during the first half. They've really confused this quarterback by throwing different packages at him. Red is back in the gun. That's a great tackle at the 23-yard line. It's up, and they got a hand on it. Not very good for Tick. They come out in a five-wide set. Drops back to pass. Wants to throw outside. His receiver has it. Hall with the tackle. Otherwise, he'll make you pay. Over. Looking to throw on first down. He rolls out to the right. He guns it. Got it. And he's all the way down to the 35. He may have changed things up here. Culver hands it off straight ahead. Dennis tackles from the gun. He drops back. He's looking, feeling the pressure. It falls incomplete. Yo, with three wide receivers. Culver drops back. He looks, rolls to the right, finds his receiver, and he's shoved out of bounds at the 24. There's a flag down in the backfield, but I didn't see what happened. Personal foul. Roughing the passer. Back to pass. Let's it go. And he gets the touchdown. The pass was right on. They'll give it off here. And they'll get him in the backfield. They have a great front seven who can overpower blockers and a secondary that provides great support in the run and pass. That's what makes a great defense. Tackle made at the 20. This is a wonderful kick. Jordan takes it to the 28. The 50. At the 40, at the 30, to the 20, to the 10. They return it all the way for the touchdown. How about that one, Lee Corso? Like I said all week long, don't be surprised if this kid runs one back, and what does he do? We've still got a half of football remaining, but our score at halftime is North Carolina, 17, Wake Forest, 14. Wake Forest is lining up to get this second half started. He sends it off. Pennington fields it at the nine with the spin at the 30. And now they line up at the 34. First down. North Carolina lines up in a shotgun set. On the deuce, on the deuce. Cut. Culver drops back looking. He rifles it. This one is incomplete. Vincent was the is back in the gun. Drops back to pass. Looking, Culver rifles it. Got it to his receiver. Boy, is this the Tar Heel? Come out in a bunch formation. Culver options out to the right. Down the sideline to the 20, to the 10, and he's all the way in for the touchdown. What a weapon this running back is! And they got him. Red comes to the line with three wide. Red steps back to pass. Throw in deep down the left sideline. Incomplete pass. And the wideout had trouble holding on there. And I'll tell you what. Wake Forest comes to the line with three wide. Stepping up. Broke away from one. He's going to air it long. Got him again. And he's all the way down to the 19. What? The defense is in the nickel. Red lets it fly. That is all. That's incomplete. You man in the backfield. Red back to throw. Across the middle. It's intercepted. This defense just warms to a pass when it's thrown like that. And that's because of two things. Pressure on the quarterback. Culver with three wide receivers. Blue 19. 
Mackey hits him in the backfield. Looks to pass. He's looking. He's going long. Complete on the run. He's all the way down to the 44. North Carolina sets up with four receivers. He drops back. Throws. Got it to his receiver. Brought down. At the they come out with three wide receivers. Cut. Cut. Over. On first down. Rolls right. He's in trouble. And he tackles him hard at the 37. Over. Back to pass. He's been perfect on this drive. He's looking for his man. Got him again. And he's the Tar Heel. Line up with three receivers bunch. They'll throw again. Defense hasn't stopped him yet. End zone. That was a sharp pass that found the wide receiver for a score. This Lefty, the lone back. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Wake Forest comes to the line with three wide. Steps up in the pocket, and he's hit hard at the 22. Tar Heel with four receivers. Culver drops back on first down. He's rolling left. He's wrapped up for the sack. Comes to the line with three wide. Culver back to throw. Throws it to the outside. And he's got it! And he's all the way down to the 30. Ends up in the shotgun. He'll give it off here. Spins up field. Tackle at the 23-yard line. That the Tar Heel set up in the gun. It's the tailback. And he's tackled at the 16-yard line. He'll try to get the first through the air. Throws. And it's caught. Touchdown, North Carolina. And coach, how about that touchdown? With that last touchdown throw, this quarterback now has managed to find the end zone three times today. So this chapter of the rivalry will come to a close. What do you guys think of this game? I'm going to tell you guys something. It doesn't matter what the record is. It doesn't matter who beats who the past few years. The only thing that matters is who focuses on a game and gets it done. And our winner did just that. For Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Brad Nessler with our final goodbye. We'll catch you next time.